When the age of the steam train died, it left many ghosts like this one. This is Carthage Junction. It was once a bustling train depot, but now it sits, deserted, next to a dirt road outside of Gordonsville, Tennessee. Carthage Junction was built back before the turn of the century and was for years the only place between Nashville and Harriman where a complete train could turn around. Back during World War I and World War II, Carthage Junction here was, was the stepping off place and the place where you came back home. It was the last stop for the recruits before they entered the army and for the soldiers coming home, this was the place they got off. The junction got pretty run down over the years until suddenly in 1968, the station was reconstructed and painted up. Then a few months later, the Tennessee Central Railroad, which owned the station, went bankrupt and was sold to the l &N Railroad. Inside the station, it's like time stopped. The hand switches for the signals are still there. The files still hold paperwork from 14, 15 years ago. And the calendar on the wall is for 1968, the year the station was sold. Now, except for an occasional freight train that stops to check in, Carthage Junction sits like an old, silent ghost. For a while, there looked as if there was going to be a town here at Carthage Junction. There were some stores and a granary and even a telegraph office. But then as towns and the railroads go, that all seemed to have died out. What's left is this old railroad station. It seems to be in pretty good shape. But like so much of some of Tennessee's old history, it's just sitting here doing nothing. For Eyewitness News, this is Andy Johnston traveling in Tennessee.